hurt, disappointed, and feeling like you give so much and maybe the people you give to or the service you do is not always reciprocated by the same people that you give to. And this is a huge energetic challenge for many people who feel like they have a life mission and a job to do here on this planet to help people. And I think it's very, very simple to overcome these feelings because feeling hurt because someone is not able to give you the love, attention, appreciation, gratitude, energy, abundance, money pay you, you know, whatever it is that you are expecting to receive from another human being is always going to lead to this kind of disappointment, this kind of energetic feeling of loss as though you've given something and you didn't receive back what you deserve. And obviously all these feelings don't help with your abundance. But when we remember that nothing, nothing is lost in the mind of the universe, nothing. And everything we've given, every bit of understanding, every bit of love, every bit of healing, every bit of abundance that we have shared on a horizontal level with others, gets deposited into our universal piggy bank of abundance and when we connect more with receiving from the universe receiving from the universe everything you need receiving from the universe and creating together with the universe your feelings of love that you need your feelings of gratitude and appreciation for who you are abundance resources the money you need to do your life mission and keep serving and giving to others and at the end of the day it comes down to being able to say I am beautiful and I am enough and I don't need anyone to tell me this it's just me and the universe and I'm here to serve and give and deposit into my piggy bank of energetic resources of love of energy, of healing, gratitude, kindness. So every day I wake up and I start depositing in my world these good things. And I don't need to worry about how they're received by others. I don't need to worry about whether others appreciate me or whether others love me or whether others listen or whether people just simply don't care about what I'm doing or offering or because what's happening on a horizontal human level is each person's soul working through their process and some people are not at a moment or a place where they can give back. They're not at a place where they can understand. They're not at a place where they can be grateful for the things you do for them. And that doesn't mean that you're not loved, that they don't love you, that you should feel abandoned, that you should feel those hurtful feelings that drag your energy down and make your deposits to the universal piggy bank so much less. If you keep depositing to the universal piggy bank feelings of being hurt, not being appreciated, that you're not enough, that you, that you criticize them and you blame yourself or other people blame you and you take on those feelings, you know, you buy into their comments and then the deposits you're making each day to your universal piggy bank are on a lower frequency and lower vibration, those feelings you're having. You know, so you want to be abundant and you want to be full of love and light and have a wonderful life. So make sure that you're making these deposits to your universal energetic love piggy bank on the highest level, the largest quantity of love, service, giving that you can share. And when you make a deposit to someone else, you're making a deposit to your universal bank account. So if you wake up and you say, I'm going to have a wonderful day, I'm going to be happy, loving. I'm not going to expect anything in return. I'm going to be the best person I can be and just work on myself.
not worry about what anyone else is doing, not worrying about manipulating other people, not worrying about how to get something out of them to feel good within yourself. You might give so much. Now, I need this person to take me out for dinner, or I need this guy to love me, or I need uh, this person to work harder and help me in my life, um, or do anything at all. Just make the energetic vibrational deposits of feeling beautiful, of knowing you're loved, of feeling like you're enough, of being grateful, and the deposits you make into your world, into your energetic field around you, are going into that bank account and are creating your abundance, your love, and all of the resources that you are going to need to bring your life mission to its highest potential. I think a lot of people that are light workers or living a mission of service, you know, they're making these deposits and they're looking around and they're asking themselves, who's going to reciprocate? You know, who's going to give back to me? And when they find sometimes they go through moments, those dark night of the soul moments or emptiness moments, you know, when they're giving and sharing and they feel alone, when they're helping others and then they don't receive money back and they wonder what's happening and we don't need to worry about why we're going through those experiences, the difficult, challenging ones, and feel that somehow we brought that on ourselves or we didn't deserve it or let anyone else tell us. Don't let anyone tell you that it's your karma, that you are reaping what you sowed. Those are all just old energy, old energy religious beliefs that were needed before. They're still needed in some parts of society with some people, I, I think, I feel. It hasn't totally changed, but the large number of people on the planet right now, or there are a large number of people on the planet, they don't need to be punished in order to behave themselves. They don't need to be manipulated in order to love you. It wouldn't be real love anyways. If they don't want to be kind and they don't want to reciprocate what you're giving them, you can receive from the universe and the planet everything you need. You don't need to worry about giving to others who don't give back to you. Just remember that everything you do for these people that probably need you more, you know, because some people are looking for relationships and partnerships and places where, you know, they say, okay, I'm going to give, but, you know, I know this person's going to be great because they're going to give back to me and they're going to have all this um, security and things are going to be easy. <laughs> but then, you know, you didn't learn to create those things for yourself. And the most wonderful abundance and love that you can perceive in your world, in your life, is the love that you have put out into the universe and created and the universe starts sending you these love tidbits back, you know, through experiences with people and through different moments you're having and you appreciate them and they're very nice to receive but you realize that the most important was the moment when you gave that love. So make your deposits carefully, you know, why make a deposit of, of 10 cents of loving thoughts towards someone who you're trying to love them but you're pissed off at them and man did they ever treat you like shit last weekend, you know, and you make a little, oh, let's, let's, I'm going to try to be grateful, I'm going to make a little love deposit of, of 10 cents and it's not going to bring a whole lot of love into your bank account. So let's make a $10,000 love deposit to that person who hurt you, who did something you didn't like and, you know, treated you like shit or something. Let's just see what happens. You're not going to lose anything if you make a $10,000 deposit to a person who probably needed that deposit more than someone who has a lot of happiness and love and treated you kindly. The person that treated you kindly might not even need you to be loving to them. They're already full of love. So if you work on this concept of your universal bank account, your universal energy bank account, full of abundance, gratitude, love, service, and you want to find a way to create abundance, then start serving and giving in your life and the universe is going to serve and it's going to give back to you everything you need because you started actually creating on a frequency that's your potential and your reason for being here. And this is where you're going to start receiving. So the more you contribute, you know, the more you do a better job each day of getting up and your vibrational frequency is higher and your mind is higher and you're not connecting on that frequency of, you know, I'm angry, this person hurt me, now I need to manipulate in order to receive. 
their love and get something back from them that's just all human 3D bullshit and garbage and will not ever bring you a real true feeling of love. Someone might treat you with love and give you some of their energy and you're going to be aware if you're more sensitive that they're doing it because they want to get something from you because they're manipulating you and they really don't have those true feelings of appreciation in that moment. So what was the point in making them feel bad and making them aware of what they did wrong so that they feel bad and they treat you differently? That kind of receiving that kind of energy just absolutely does us no good. It's, it's between them and their bank account. You know, If they don't treat you well and they aren't kind or not loving and you've been very loving to them and understanding and everything, you've done your best, you've made your huge deposit and you're richer for it. Now, the other person, they didn't make that deposit. They made a huge withdrawal. And their bank account is, their universal energy bank account is going to be poorer. And you don't need to worry about that because that is between them and the universe. You don't need to walk around thinking, oh, that person's gonna receive so little love and so little. They're just not gonna have that energy and attention in their lives. And little by little, they'll also learn to grow and create a huge federal reserve. <laughs> Let's have a huge universal reserve of energy coming through us into the universe and coming back to us through the universe and make this the place where we give and we receive on a higher dimensional frequency, on a fourth and fifth dimension or our universal conscious dimension or higher self dimension or whatever you want to call it. You're making your own agreement with the universe and you're saying, I'm enough and beautiful and I am amazing. But you're waking up every day and you're making those deposits. And when you say it, you actually believe it. Because you can say, I am enough. But are you really doing the best you can? And if you can do a little better and you say, I'm enough, but you feel proud of yourself because, you know, you made, like I made this challenge to do this seven day meditation challenge. And today is day seven. And... When you make a challenge to do two videos a day, the talk video and then the meditation videos, it's not easy when you go through a couple of bad days and you still have to make the video with a high vibration. And you wake up and you get your vibration to that place and you do it again and you get through. Then you can say, I am enough. Then you can say, I'm beautiful. And I deserve to receive all the abundance and all the things I need to create and do what I'm you know, trying to do here. And with this process, mm, you feel amazing. And this makes the difference. This makes the difference between expecting people, other humans, to be the source of the love and the abundance that you need. There will be people in your lives who give back to you, but it's not them giving back to you. It's the universe that's giving you interest. You're getting interest payments from the universe. You're making universal deposits with your energy. Your universal balance of abundance and love is growing. So every action you take, just do it between you and higher self, between you and God, between you and the universe, between you and whatever you want to call it. You keep that going through your life. You keep that high vibrational frequency. And you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on courses of how to create abundance for yourself. And just simply ask yourself in every moment, am I making the highest deposit available to me?